Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. And today we are doing this question called Merge Two Sorted Linked List. So the question is quite uh, self-explanatory, like merging two sorted linked lists. There's not much for me to explain in this question in terms of um, what it is. It's, but the strategy involved is quite interesting. So <clears throat> a linked list is something that just has uh, a header node that makes a reference to another header node that makes a reference to another header node until we reach the none value, null value or none value. So in this case, it's 137 and a 1, 2, none. So in order for me to uh, traverse through this, what they're expecting me to do is I'm supposed to compare these two and take the smallest. So if they are the same, it doesn't matter which one I take. So I, let's say I take this one. And the rule is simple. In any linked list solution, as intimidating as linked list sounds, the idea is simple. Always find the repeating pattern. And once you find that, you can just use a while loop or for loop to just traverse through the list and make sure that your idea works out. So let's say in this case, the first thing that we need to do is we need to save this somewhere, save the item that we are going to uh, save it somewhere as a temp storage. And then we severe the connection that it has and then make sure it connects to something else. So to start out, you can maybe connect it to a, none value, a null value at first. The next item is one, and then change the headers, header two's value to be two and n. After that, we are checking header one and two again. Now we're comparing one versus two, and one is the smallest item. So <clears throat> we need to make sure that the final linked list that we are returning, that header points to this one now. And this header points to some other end. We severe this end connection already. We are like deleting this. So this sequence goes on and on. So next up would be three and two. Two is the smallest. So I need to save this. Oh yeah, in this case, they would have saved this somewhere. And this would be the new header one. So I'll save this now. And this will be the new header two. And two will be, and I'll form the connection to two. And two will form the connection to some random none value now. So you can see the repeated pattern now. And at the end, if now I'm going to compare three versus none, three and none are not even comparable items. So once I see the none, I can just severe the connection for, to none over here and just, just connect it to the new header one. And with that, our question is done. So it's quite a simple idea, <clears throat> but to find that repeating sequence might be a bit of a challenge. So. First things first, we need to get started. Like we need an initial node in the final list. So let's just say initially I have a final that references none. Next up, I'm going to compare header one's data versus header two. So header one versus header two dot data. Whoops, 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 whoops. Am I going left? Dot data. <clears throat> and I'm supposed to. So if header one's data is greater than header two, I'm effectively asking for header two to be the, the one that I append into the new linked list. So uh, before I add something to the new one, I need to do two things. First thing is I need to save whatever value that would be left over to some place. And then I need to severe the connection. So saving the value to some place would just be temp is equal to hit two dot next. And right after that, hit two dot next is going to point to none. Like this is hit two. It's going to point to none. And uh, final is going to point to hit two. And the new hit two will now be equal to temp. Like this value is now getting stored inside the final something. And then I'm making hit two, whatever that I stored earlier. So it'll be two and N. So hit two, uh, wait, let me just put hit two. H two will just be two and N right now. While H, 
H1 will be 137N, while final will be 1N. <coughs> So let's do this else. That means if header one is not greater than header two, that means we are expecting header one to be the smaller item. We just need to copy this and paste it and just change all the header twos to header one. <clears throat> header one, the new header one becomes temp. So with this being done, this is not the repeated sequence that we're interested in because this is just the starting node. So after we start something, I'm going to ref refer to, I'm going to create a new variable called Pinelli and I'm going to reference final. So this final refers to a specific node that we've created, which is head one or head two. And this Pinelli's connection to that specific reference of an object does not change. Why do I say this? Because when we keep manipulating, keep traversing through the linked list, we would need the final value to keep adapting. So we need some operation that can do this. Final is equal to final.next so that we can go to the next item. But if I do this, the object reference of final keeps changing. Like if there are, if there are like each node over here has a reference, each one has like an address. Each one of these nodes has an address. If I keep doing this, the reference of final will keep changing. And in the end, if I'm trying to print it, if this keeps changing, I'll be printing like the last item, which is not what I want. I want to print from the first item all the way to the last item. So by doing this, I'm storing the first item's reference to Pinelli. And that reference has, like that object has connections that will be manipulated in our, uh, in our code right now. So finale is the last thing that I'm going to return. Finale is what I'm what I'm interested in. But before that, I need to do the re repeating sequence of checking everything and then reassigning the errors, et cetera, et cetera. So to do that, my failing condition right now is going to be when both hit one and hit two are none. So hit one or hit two. So if either one exists, that means if hit one has some number or head two has some number, this thing won't fail. But if both of them are none, then it will fail. It's like a, yeah, F T will still run. T T it will still run, but F F false and false, it will terminate. So yeah, uh, I will delete all these drawings. Okay. <clears throat> Now, what, I, what do I need to do? I need to check again if which one is bigger and which one is smaller. So if head one is bigger than head two, I'm making it temp. Head two is equal to next. Head two's next becomes none. Final becomes head two. Yes. Head two becomes temp. Okay. I think we're missing one more step. Yep. The next step is we need to make sure um, let me see. Finals next must be equal to head two. And we need to make sure that final is equal to final dot next. The reason for this is um, once we change final.next to be the new node, I need to get to the new node. Like I need to start from here now. But if I, as long as that remain as final, that won't change. So I need to make sure final is now equal to final next. So then I can uh, point this to somewhere else. So I'll just copy this to here and just change all the twos to one. Uh, header one, final is this, okay. Header one is equal to temp. Wonderful. Now, with that being said, over here, we are under the assumption that we have two datas to compare against. Like 
we have like data is only possible if there is a data over there. If there's nothing, that means if there's a none, we cannot do a data. There's no data operation for none. In that case, we need a way to check if an item is none. If head one does not exist, that means if not head one, I'm going to uh, final dot next is equal to head two and head two is equal to none. That means if head one doesn't exist, I'm just like, like, like in this case, head two doesn't exist. So if not head two, final dot next is equal to head one and head one is become, will become one. So in this case, after a certain point, like after I do one and a two and a two, I'm sorry, if after I do one, one and a two, hit two will just be left with a none. So if hit two doesn't exist, I'm just going to make sure that final now points to hit one, which is this whole thing, and then just terminate after that. And then I just, because after that, I don't need to code anything already. I just terminate the program. So to, in order to terminate the while loop, I just need to make sure hit one is equal to none. And with that, we are good to go. So head one is this, head two is this, and yep, I think this should work. So at the end of the day, what do we what do we return? What do we return? Um, we return finale. Because finale is the one with the reference point to the first starting node. Final has changed many different reference nodes. Like it, it's referencing like this value right now. So that's not what we want. So let me delete this. Let me erase all the things that we don't need. Now let's run it and hopefully I don't run into an error. Hmm, where's this error coming from? Okay, 70 here. Yeah. <clears throat> Temp. Okay. Um, I see what the issue is. So uh, one thing that we need to know, note in Python is if we keep using if, it will run it. If, okay, I need to phrase it properly. If there's an if, it will run that if. But if there's an if and an elif, it will only run one of them. So in some cases, we might have a header is equal to, header is not none. It will run this. And then it won't run this because we won't fail here, but then we will we will continue to run this. That means even if it is a none, like if head one doesn't exist, I know it doesn't exist and I have done this already, it will still run this in this stage, which is not something that we want. So to avoid that, what we can do is if if it if it is not head one, if head one doesn't exist, we do this. If it does exist, we check if head two exists. If hit two does not exist, we do this. If hit two does exist, we go here. Else, hit one's data is larger than this. And so that's the idea. If As long as there's an if, it will run the program. And in some cases where hit one or hit two might be none, if we run it to like find its data, none doesn't have any data. So it'll just return an error. So let's run this program now. And yes, wonderful, we have gotten the test case. I think it'll pass all the test cases here as well. <clears throat> Amazing. Um, so yeah, this is the code for this question. We initially started by, started by adding a node to the final. And after we had the first node, we are just doing a repeated sequence over here uh, to traverse, through, to, point, to change the, pointing, the pointers to different things. And we also have an early termination, which is if either one is a none, we just point to the whole node or the whole chain and we are done. So yeah, this is my interpretation or my solution for this question, merge two sorted linked lists. If you guys know a better solution, please let me know in the comments or if we can discuss, I can try my best to address any of your questions. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. And please show your support so that I can keep uh, trying to do this. Yep, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.